Ladies and gentlemen, this video is now in session. Obi Wan 362, Gamer Law presiding. And welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. In the last episode, we got here to Neverland. You know what to say about never. You should never say it. You should never say never. Which is a ridiculous saying, considering you say it twice, but whatever. The, the sentiment is there, nevertheless. Uh, but we made it here to Neverland after finishing up getting everything in deep space. And so now we're here, and I had kind of a rough landing here, you could say. But we managed. We managed. Uh, there's still a lot of stuff to find here. But Skull Rock is kind of just calling my name. Kind of just calling my name. So I think we're going to examine this boat. I think we're going to cross over to Skull Rock. Yes. I was going to say right now, but technically the option was yes. Also, it feels like my TV is up turned up. But... Given... It's, it seems unlikely considering, like, each each one of my uh, different inputs for my television oh hoop, has its own has its own setting, uh, its own volume control setting. Interesting, I don't have any electricity abilities set. Uh, considering someone was suggesting that, um, okay, it looks like I can come out through its eyeballs. If I'm looking at this correctly, I can go into its mouth and come out through its eyeballs. Uh, but someone was suggesting that what I probably, uh, need to do in order to unlock my other finishers, it's not, I, every time, every time, is oh actually now I wonder if they were talking about this one. They were probably talking about this one. Probably require they were saying it probably requires my Thunderbolt command, which could be accurate. Um, I guess if we do this and then s swap out, I don't know a a warp. For uh, where's the, the Thundara? Uh, then we then we can determine uh the accuracy of that. So here's hoping this isn't gonna be a waste of time. Oh no, I probably just did that right before I walked into a boss fight. Wow. Okay, great. I'm leaving. Bye. Pardon me, Captain, but it's about that shooting star I was mentioning to ye. Mr. Smee, I ordered you to drop that. Where? I'll not have you gushing on about some shooting star. Where was the shooting star? But, but, Captain, most shooting stars twinkle for a bit and then they go out. But this one, it, it kept on sparkling and shining even after it crashed down. Why, what if it's really a big, enormous, priceless gemstone? <laughs> what? Idiot! Why didn't you tell me? It just, it just did. You there, boy! Um, we've a bit of business to attend to and must, I fear, step away. I trust you can see to things till I return? Sure. When Peter Pan gets here, I'll be waiting. <laughs> That's awkward. Aww. Tara's Wendy. Just waiting on Peter Pan. <laughs> okay. Shh. That old codfish. Looks like he's found himself a new flunky. I'll fly down and distract him. Men, you move in and nab the treasure. Tara. 
care. Are you Peter Pan? At me? The light is not yours to take. Man. We have to fight some fairy boy. Jeez. Which I shouldn't have said that because this is going to be really... This is going to be real embarrassing when he's teaching me a lesson. You won't stop me. Yeah! Oh, poop! Man. See what I mean? Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, that... Of course, I didn't have to beat him. He's not actually the bad guy. I should have thought about that. <laughs> I was like... Okay. I have to survive the whole fight. What do you want with the light? Light? What light? Look, Pan! We've got the chest! No! Good. Not yet, you blockheads! Hey! Whoa. Stop them! It's just gold. Yeah, oh, sorry. Good. Now what is this? Pirate treasure, of course. Jewels, doubloons, you know, the usual stuff. I've been guarding a pile of loot? Yeah. Sounds like you've been tricked. I'll say. I owe you an apology. I picked a fight over nothing. Oh, it was all in good fun. Cool. Not every day I get to fight such a good swordsman. Who Say, di kept your dying? Name anyway? Tara. Right then, Tara. Which way did Hook go? They said something about a shooting star. Shooting star? Tinkerbell must be in danger. Men, guard that treasure with your lives! Wait! Aye, aye, sir! You go and get him, Pan! Well, I should be on my way. Uh, wait! We just got here! Take some treasure. Uh. Tara, I swear if you leave this planet. Good. Good, I didn't even actually go outside. Excellent. Well, I'm in severe pain. There, jeez. Um. Huh. Those are clearly reachable locations but not at present it would seem so that's interesting okay yeah I can totes get up there I'm not sure how also now I think about it, it was disconcerting I was like, it's disconcerting that it let me leave. It let it let me walk out instead of just being like, and now you're outside. That's the thing I didn't think about until after it did it. I swear if that treasure chest is the monster. <laughs> da poo! That's not a monster, that's a bunch of monsters. Oh. Great. Peachy. Alright, fools. Thunder. Fire. 
Yeah, huh? Blade charge? Oh. Oh, heck yeah. Nope, sorry, we're gonna have to de-link our butts out of this, so... Yeah! Not sure what happened there, but... That it just ended, but whatevs, yo. Boy, you sure cut that monster down to size. Monsters. Go. Fine. Yeah. All's well. What's that? Tinkerbell, one of Peter Pan's dearest friends. Oh. Um, Can I take a look? <laughs> Free! So long as I have his precious pixie, Pan's demise is all but assured. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a kick. What's the meaning of this? You know, I didn't give it that much thought. Just doing what my heart tells me. That's mutiny. And you'll walk the plank for it. We're on an island. <clears throat> that sound. <laughs> Thank you. We sure showed hook this time. Yes, we did. Huh? Pixie dust. Terra believes he can fly. Terra believes he can torch the sky. That's awkward given his name. <laughs> Every star up there is in the <gasps> Hard to believe there are so many worlds out there besides our own. The light is their hearts. And it's shining down on us like a million lanterns. What? Hmm. I don't get it. In other words, they're just like you, Ben. Good. What does that mean? You'll find out someday, I'm sure. I want to know now. Okay, her, her laugh is bad. <laughs> it just sounds forced. Other than that... <gasps> I miss my friends. Where are my friends? Oh, so much for the pirate treasures. Hmm. Where'd the treasure Don't go? Don't you guys really want the jewels and gold that badly? Hmm? No, we don't care about that stuff. Uh, but, uh, Pan was counting on us. I'll tell you what. Put the stuff that's really special to you in there. That can be your treasure. Yeah! No yeah. cool idea! Thanks! <gasps> that's cute. Kind of makes me wonder what I'd put in there. The ability to fly. Pixie Petal! That makes up for its poor reach with an extra boost and nope. Critical hits and deal higher damage when you do. Ah, but I always try the different ones. I feel like I have to. Alright, we did fun. Now they've kicked me off world. Good. Really wasn't ready to leave there. Okay. Guess I should have known that was going to happen though. It's so warm. It's light. Light is warm, Tara. 
where are we? I'm scared. So warm, the sun. <gasps> the heck are we doing here? The heck? <gasps> the fruit. The star fruit. Somewhere out there? There's this tree with star-shaped fruit. Bite it. Eat the fruit, Tara. Eat the fruit. It's gonna be weird. What? Aqua. Ven. I wonder if we'll ever be a team again. Looks like all It'll the be. things that once held us together just push us further away. And now the light has led me here. What am I supposed to do? Listen to the light. Man, it was awful dark in there. Hey, slow down. Could you just wait for me? <gasps> Come on, Sora. I can't run anymore. I thought this was happening a lot longer ago than this. Light. Was I guided here in order to meet that boy? Oh, ahoy! We're over here! Good! Brace ya! First one to the boat gets to be captain! <laughs> Come on! You call that running? <laughs> This is interesting. Good. Who, who's that guy? Hmm? Hey. What's up? Did you come from the outside world? Huh? Why would you say that? Because nobody lives out here, and. I know you're not from the main island. Hmm? Smart kid. So how about you? What are you doing here? Oh. My friend's dad took us out on the boat. This is where we like to play. <laughs> but they won't let us row out here by ourselves. Not until we get older. Must be hard, huh? Stuck in one place. Hmm. I heard once there was a kid who left for good. Um. Um. So how did you get here anyway? What? Okay. Is there some reason you're interested in the outside world? Yeah. I want to be strong one day. Like that kid who left. He went to the outside world. I bet he's really strong now. <laughs> I know it's out there somewhere. The strength that I need. Strength for what? To protect the things that matter. <laughs> you know, like my friends. Outside this tiny world is a much bigger one. That's not the key what I'm using. In your hand, take this key. So long as you have the makings, then through this simple act of taking, its wielder you shall one day be, and you will find me, friend. What? No ocean will contain you then. No more borders around or below or above. So long as you champion the ones you love. Um... Good. Come on, hurry it up. You 
got to keep this a secret, okay? Huh? Otherwise, all the magic will wear off. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what was that all about? No, nothing. You know, know what? <laughs> Why won't you tell me? Who was that guy? Somebody you know? Maybe. Oh, there you go again. <laughs> Just tell me. I really can't. I've got to keep it a secret. Not with me, don't. I'm like the best secret keeper in the world. Nice try. <laughs> oh, Riku. <laughs> Protect the things that matter. Right. My friends matter to me, too. So, I still have things that I have to protect. And some fruit to take them. Oh. What? Hang on. <laughs> they just gave me... <laughs> I just got a Keyblade! Well, guess I don't have to use it. Which is good, because it was not well suited for Terra. That. that light. Is it Ben? Master Terra. Find me. We must speak at once. Are you at the one place again? Master Xehanort. No! No! If you thought that was Ven, you should have kept going for it. Batblade. Why you do this to me? Why do you do this to all of us? Yay! Neverland. The poo? Oh, it's Destiny Island. Duh. Menu. Um, equip. The pixie battle! <gasps> no! Ends of the earth. Alright, wait. Hold up here. Okay, it's slightly different than the earth shaker. Oh, so slightly, but get, I mean, it's cool, because, like, it is different, but it's still, it harkens back to his old weapon. And that's, that's the benefit, right? Right, I know. Um, okay, let's equip... Yeah, we can do that, because... We can do that. So, Geo Impact. Fun. Um, okay. Go to stats. Got Blade Charge unlocked now. Yep. Probably Thunderbolt. Because I think we went into, I think we went into it three times. So, yes. Because, Two ended one way, and then one ended... Yeah. So, okay. We're just going to be thunderbolting like no tomorrow. And you're already using command style, and follow with fire-related, blizzard-related, or strike attacks like fire strike. Cool. Alright. Well, we clearly can't land at Destiny Islands. I want to go there, but I'm super concerned that like this may be this may be the end times. And like as cool as it would be to see that, uh, it seems a little early. It also seems a little early, just just a hair early, to be done. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bounce back to Neverland. To see what we can find of the stuff that we're missing. Because I think that makes the most sense to do with the time we've got left. Right? Okay, I teleported us here, which is really where I wanted to be. So, let's see what we can find, shall we?
Oh, shoot! What the poo? There is a pirate ship over there that is shooting us. I was like, oh, look at that pirate ship. I didn't notice that before. Oh, look, it's like it's firing cannons. That's so cute. And then it wasn't so cute no more. Because it was actually firing cannons. So, yeah, that's a thing. Okay, we didn't go this way before, so let's go this way now. Hope you guys are ready. Look. Look, guys, I don't really want to do this. Ow. Come on. How many? Pop your face back up. Pop your face back up. Okay, those guys, I don't know. They're just endless or what? I thought there might be treasure over here. Look, guys, if you all insist on, you know, having at it out there, that's fine. But I do not want to get my face shot off. And this place looks like it should be safe. I mean, when I said safe, I meant from, like, cannon fire, not necessarily from... Come on. Mess that up, but that's fine. Alright, well that was fun. And there's that. Come on, fools. Thunderbolt! And thunder again. Geo Impact level 3. Sweet. Not too bad. Zero Gravaga. Alright, so now how who do I get that? Um also, where are those stats at now? Eight. Okay, I only have to do it a couple more times and I've got it. Sweet. this? Is it behind the waterfall? I mean, that'd be a classic JRPG thing to do. Dang it. Gosh. Is there a... Ah, poop! Looks like... Oh, no, I guess it's up there. I guess it's a door I could come out of. 
is more what it looks like it is. So I might have to look elsewhere for how to get... There we go. But I got that sticker at least. Alright, well... That's fun at least. And I guess... I don't know. Oh, I don't think that's all the treasure here, but... Let's try and work our way back to a save point. Before things get too hairy. So I'm going to see you guys in a second. Oh, it says I can go in there now. That will be saved for next time, I think. I think I get... I think there's... Uh... Yes. Oh! As long as there's a save point, but there's Peter Pan. Um... Interesting. Be real good at telling fibs. Or chat if I were you. Freaking easy guy to trick. Oh my gosh, you have no you have no idea. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, and then there was this direction we couldn't go before because Wait. I thought it was that way. Oh. Maybe not. Oh my gosh, you have no idea, Pan. You have no idea. Anyway, that does it for this episode of Kingdom Hearts. Birth by Sleep. I still... We're, we're what? Like, a, we're a bunch of episodes into this, and I still want to say 368, 358 by two days. Um, before we go, we'll of course look like, hey! This other stuff. Oh, good. That means I should be able to turn that off. I feel like I'm cheating. That's not what I wanted. Um, let's see, I guess we can sw swap out Aerial Slam, throw in a uh, break time, I guess. Um, Zero Gravara, because we haven't done it yet, basically. Uh, we gotta leave, gotta leave the, the electric type attack, because we haven't quite yet gotten ourselves that thing, and now it's pretty clear that that's, in fact, what... Uh, it seems pretty clear now that that is, in fact, what we are needing to do. Also, Dark Volley is at full level, so all of my shot lock commands are full power. Excellent. Why is this still telling me there's other new stuff? Oh, a Mega Elixir, that's why. Sweet. Um, D-Links, we now have access to... Uh, I guess we can take Zack off here now. Or, have we done Heroes Pride? I don't think we've done Heroes Pride yet. Oh, uh, we now have Peter Pan! And he's already got... He's already got a... Oh, I guess... I guess there when we were fighting things, we would actually had gotten a... A fruit thing. I guess we ended up with one of those before... Like, right before it ended or something, and let it, it let us auto-collect it. So that's cool. Scores you money. Heck yeah. And into the reports we go. Where we'll stop, nobody knows. Gotta start in Neverland. A boy named Peter Pan was after the light that filled Captain Hook's treasure chest. So Terra agreed to escort Hook to a nearby cave and help keep the light safe. The two of them reached Skull Rock without incident, but not long after Hook left to go search for a shooting star, Peter Pan appeared. He and Terra dueled, but when the, co when the contents of the treasure chest came spilling out, Revealing Hook's light, doing nothing more than shiny medallions and jewels, Terra realized he'd been had. He told Peter Pan where Hook had gone, and the boy raced off at once to help Tinkerbell the pixie, who had gone looking for the same shooting star. Oh, is that what happened? I just assumed she was a shooting star. That works, though. Terra had only just left the cave himself when a swarm of unversed drew him back inside. After he had dispatched the last of them, Captain Hook returned with a lantern. 
Locked inside was Tinkerbell. Unaware of Terra's allegiances had changed, Hook handed over the lantern. He was still grinning at his own good fortune when Tinkerbell kicked him square in the nose. Terra had let her out. Doo -doo -doo. Hook was furious, but fled the scene in terror when he heard the crocodile approach. Odd, but whatever. Much to Peter Pan's friend's disappointment, the gold and jewels in the treasure chest had been lost. What were they going to do with an empty chest? Terra suggested they fill it up with their own treasures, things special to them. But all the while, he wondered what he would pick if asked to do the same. Aww. Destiny Islands. Beckoned by a warm light, Terra arrived at a small island surrounded by an endless ocean. He saw a tree with star-shaped fruit, just like the one Aqua had told him about. Terra clutched his wayfinder and, and wondered what purpose the island might hold for him. Two boys came running by. One of them, a boy with silver hair, radiated with light. He longed to journey to the outside world and find the strength to keep his friends safe. Terra saw some of himself in the boy. There was a time when brute strength was all that mattered to him. Sensing a kinship between them, Terra decided to bequeath Keyblade's power to the boy in a simple ceremony. The child listened quietly. Then, a tiny hand closed around the enormous Keyblade's hilt. Terra's uncertainty had left him. It was not too late to go back to his friends to keep them safe. He could still be the person he had set out to be. And then, as he was on his way and thought he saw his friend, he decided that, oh, the beckoning cries of some dude who still looks super evil was the right person to go to. Because Terra is a genius. Sword Bill! To be fair, we would have gotten more hits with that Sword Bill if the fight hadn't ended. Character Files, Destiny Island. Wait, what? Why Destiny Island come first? That's dumb. Neverland's first. Peter Pan. A boy from Neverland where no one has to grow up. Peter may hatch plans faster than he can stick to them, but he lacks nothing for courage and a sense of what's right. Captain Hook tricked Terra into fighting him, but the misunderstanding was soon cleared up, and Peter flew off to save Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. A pixie who lives in Neverland. Terra saved her from the clutches of Captain Hook. And unfortunately for him, she didn't bother to bequeath upon him the power of flight. Screw you, Tinkerbell. Slightly. I didn't even remember these kids had names. One of the lost boys who live in Peter Pan's hideout. He, Peter, and Cubby were hoping to swipe Captain Hook's treasure. <sighs> Cubby, one of the lost boys who live in Peter Pan's hideout. Peter took him and Slightly to try and swipe Captain Hook's treasure. Uh, same thing as the other guy. Captain Hook, ah! A pirate on of the pirate on a pirate of Neverland and Peter Pan's arch enemy. He tricked Terra into guarding his treasure, but lies never last. And Peter made off with the treasure chest anyway. His usual swagger is replaced by Terra at the very sight or sound of the crocodile. Mister Shmi. A pirate, kind of, in the service of Captain Hook. Blunder and blockheaded, blockhead he may be, but Shmi never abandons his captain. Aye, aye, sir. The crocodile. <coughs> captain Hook's most feared enemy. Just a few ticks of the clock, he swallowed or enough to send Hook running for dear life. And back to Peter. And now, this is, I mean, this is interesting. Sora! A cheerful, energetic little boy. He and his friend Riku always play together out on the island. Riku, a little boy who yearns to see the outside world. Terra chose him to inherit the power of the Keyblade. Riku deeply cares for his friend, Sora, and believes the strength he needs to protect people awaits him somewhere in the wider world. Also, that is the coolest looking kid ever. Like, look at that. Look at that. Got some fashion sense. Look at this kid. Yeah. This kid, I'm surprised he doesn't have socks with those sandals. That's all I'm saying. Just, just throwing that out there. Anyway. 
Sticker album. We managed to get a sticker. Um. Yeah! See, I knew what I was doing. We only have two, three stickers left to find. And two of them are here. Wait, how many I say we need to find? One, two, three. It, three to find, and two more of them are here in Neverland. So that's going to be interesting, trying to find those. Oh, uh, we also need to see about treasure. We're still missing a bunch of treasure. So I'm going to have to find that. Though, again, we can now go into the tree. So we'll do that next time. And someone pointed out uh, something involving the Indian campsite. And so we'll be heading there next time also. Hopefully between those things, we'll figure something out. Nevertheless, thank you guys for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy this episode, then by all means, there's a like button. You should make use of it. Of course, if you dislike this video for whatever reason, the dislike button is right there as well. Comments are always appreciated, and I hope that you all had a very Merry Christmas or whatever holiday it is that you celebrate. And yeah. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this video is adjourned.